Uh, thanks for joining us at the Natural Lifestyle Show. I'm Angel. And I'm Billy. And today we're going to be making date cranberry balls. Mm-hmm. For Thanksgiving, um, people have cranberry sauce a lot, and we're having a raw Thanksgiving this year. And so I thought that putting cranberries with dates and making date balls would be a good um, way to serve cranberries. Sounds good. So what we did here is we went ahead and I put 10 dates and about half a cup of dried cranberries in the um, Ninja Chopper. You can use your um, food processor. It's the same thing, basically. And then we have a bowl of water here. If you wet your fingers in the water like this and get off a chunk of the date cranberry mixture, then you can make it into a ball and it won't stick to your fingers really bad with the water. So that's a good little trick there. So we just roll them into balls here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Billy's rolling his in coconut. And I love I, coconut. And I'll roll my dates in some walnuts. You don't really have to roll them in, in, in anything, but um, it would probably keep it from being so sticky and sticking to your fingers when you're trying to eat it if you have it rolled up in something. And plus, it's yummy. I love walnuts. Here it is. And you see, it looks very festive and cute. This is going along with our Thanksgiving series, but this would be good for any holiday, Christmas. These right here look like snowballs. Yep. <laughs> That's right. So that would be good for Christmas, the ones in the coconut. We do a whole plate of snowballs. That'd be good for any party. Oh, yeah. Great finger food. And we have other recipes, um, videos for Thanksgiving, so be sure to visit our channel and check those out. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, this year we're having our first raw Thanksgiving, and we're going to do a little video um, of our spread. So that'll be fun. Trying to make it low fat, the Thanksgiving overall. But I don't know if it'll be really, really low fat. <laughs> it'll be lower fat than it would have been if we weren't watching out for it. Though. It still sounds good. <laughs> so, what's your favorite part of Thanksgiving, Billy? Everybody being together. Really? Yep. Yeah, that is the best part. Every year my mom has pieces of paper and we all write down what we're thankful for and I, I really, I like doing that. I think that's fun. And then the kids like to do crafts too. Next is the food. Yeah. Yeah. I think people always equate Thanksgiving with eating. It's like the number one thing for some reason. Yeah, I just can't wait to our first raw Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of good food. It's going to be good. We're not going to be, feel like we're missing out on anything at all. And I'm not having like a fake turkey. <laughs> it's just a lot of good food. No toe turkey? <laughs> no toe turkey to this year. I had one last year and it made me sick. But I'm not eating that, you know. We're eating raw this year, so that's not even really an option this year. But it does taste good. <laughs> a lot of things taste good. <laughs> but these date balls taste really, really, really good. The dates are super sweet and the cranberries have such a wonderful flavor. I was really surprised because cranberries are really bitter, but when I started trying the dried ones, they're so sweet. It seems like a lot of companies sweeten them, but these I got from Whole Foods and they're sweetened with apple juice. So to me, that's better than than the sugar. Nothing as good as apple juice, I tell you. <laughs> well, it's, it can be a really good sweetener, that and grape juice. It's used to sweeten a lot of things. And here we go. And we didn't make a big amount because it's not Thanksgiving right now and we don't want to eat a lot of um, a lot of these. But So we made a small amount. Like I said, this amount is from 10 dates and half a cup of dried cranberries, and this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 date balls. 
So just double the recipe as much as you want or need to to make as many cranberry date balls as you want. And you make them any size that you like to have. Yeah, we just made ours pretty small because I thought that's a good size to snack right there. But that's true, you can have it any size you want. So thanks so much for joining us. Please like this video and please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more videos coming your way. And if you have any suggestions of videos that you'd like us to make, just leave them below in the comment section and we'll check it out. And while you're doing that, we're going to enjoy these date balls. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. And they're super, super good. And they're super moist in the middle. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy.